So I've got my front face right here. Now, next one, let's do our top face right here. Or you can do the side. It doesn't matter which order you do these in. But let's do our top face. So I know here on my drawing I've got that center line. So I can use that mirror function again to make sure they're perfectly symmetrical. And I know I have my dimensions all right here. So I know that because these all line up, this 36 is from there to there. I've got my 24. I've got everything right here. And my whole thing is 72. So, back in my drawing, start sketch. Which face do I want to draw on? I want to draw on the top face. So I brought it that way. I'm just going to put it sideways just so it matches my drawing. Just over here at the cube, just hit these arrows. Move it to how I like it. So, I know I'm going to need this 36 right here. I know I need this 230. And I know I need that 60. So first of all, overall, my whole thing is 230 millimeters. So I am going to draw a line from this corner over to 230. And I'm just going to drop that down. So I know my whole drawing is going to fit here. I'm going to draw that line of 60. And hit escape, back over here, draw this 24, I'm sorry, 36. So that is this point right here, and this point right here. Uh, since I know it's symmetrical, I'm going to put my line down the center. Remember, we click on line, and then we find wherever that becomes a green circle, right there. So let's draw a line down the middle. Now I know that's 24, so I know half of that is 12, from there to there. So I'm going to come down 12, and hit enter with my line tool. So now I have all of the points I need. Now I just need to connect them. I can either use the line tool, and I can connect that with a straight line, if that's what your design is, or I can use this arc tool. And where did my point go? Right there. Click the first one, click the second one, and now I can bring it out like that. I wanted I could bring it in like that. So all these are just your choice. It's going to change the way your boat looks. Um, if you wanted to get really fancy, you've got this spline button, which if I click and then I just keep clicking, I can you know put little wavy lines on there. It looks weird, so I'm just going to use the arc tool to match my drawing. So click, click, let go. Over here, click, and this one goes all the way up to the center. Let go. I need to connect this with a straight line. And now, I'm going to get rid of the lines I don't need. Get rid of my dimensions. Use the trim tool to get rid of lines I don't need. Use the mirror. Remember two steps. First I have to highlight everything. Then click mirror line and click on my mirror. Hit apply. So that should match my boat right there. So that's the top. Finish sketch. Now the last thing we have to do is the side right here. So start sketch. Click our side face. And 
I've got those same 36. So 36, enter. Oh no. Go over here. 36, enter. If I want to. I can hold down the shift on the keyboard and my mouse wheel, and I can look at it if I need to. So I know that's my 36. I know my whole thing was 230. And I know this line right here was 60. So again, it gives me those points I need. So I have my 36, my 60. And that overall 230. So this one I'm gonna use the little arc tool going down, this one the arc tool going up. So from this point to there, this one to there, and put a line on the top just to finish that one off. Get rid of those dimensions and trim what I don't need. So if I made any extra lines, I can get rid of them. And sketch. So now I have my front, my top, and my side view.